right, this is take three. I accidentally fat fingered and deleted the first two, but uh, the car I'm working on, it's a 99 Subaru Legacy Outback. Um, the problem was is the customer's driving down the road, bam, everything died, so he comes here, and I don't have any sound coming from the fuel pump. It's not getting power. Well, it's, it's not getting signals, what it is, it's not coming on. And then I do a Noid light test, which is you put a little Noid light in the fuel injector plug, the electrical plug, and it lights up. It's just, you know, a light bulb with a positive and a negative. That's all it is. Straighten the wires on a 194 bulb and do the same thing with that. But no signal, check for spark, no spark. And so, long story short, I go down here. Long story short, I go down here and check the fuses. And I've got a little 15 amp fuse that's blown. It's the second one in the bottom row it goes to 10 amp 15 15 10 that first 15 amp fuse was just blown so i put the new fuse in turn the ignition on snap blows right immediately i mean just right away so i go to check things out i check the fuel pump harness the fuel pump access by the way you put the seats down like that and pull up this little carpet that you see you pull up the carpet that you see right here and there's a little opening here and another opening here and I believe it's this one you open up and the fuel pumps under that so anyway fuel pump runs everything's great with the fuel pump so I know that it's something um, oh by the way in the owner's manual that's fuse number 16 down in there and 16 says fuel injection fuse so I come around here and I'm like oh I know what it is it's the oxygen sensor wiring because I've seen that before you can see that there's a wire that runs down in front and underneath the CV axle. Sometimes those will touch rub and short. And then there's another one that runs up over the top of the transmission for the other one after the cat, the other oxygen sensor. Check that, it's fine. So then I'm like, well maybe it's something in the fuel injection. Everything on Subarus run on the intake manifold off of these three plugs. And they're mounted on a little bracket that goes right here. There's the big main lower one that you see glowing. Unplug that one, this one, and this one. Put a new fuse in, turn the key on, snap, nothing happens. <laughs> tricky there. I'm tricky like that. So anyway, I plug these two back in, because I always think it's going to be the worst one, the one with the most wires. In this case, it was. I have this one disconnected, turn the key on, new fuse, nothing. You know, it doesn't blow, and so we're good. Of course, it doesn't run either, because all the fuel injectors are on this plug. So I plug this back in, turn the key on, and POW! The fuse blows again. So I know that something on this wire harness, but forward in the intake manifold somewhere in here is the problem. Now I filmed before and deleted it accidentally, but you see this crossover pipe, all the wires, the big fat wires were stuck underneath of this um, temperature sending unit and switch here. And so Basically, everything was smashed in there, and you see this sharp little uh, ridge on the motor? That was chafed through the wire harness completely. So, what, I didn't know that at the time, but I pull back on the wire harness that's connected to this one. I pull it to this side of the engine compartment. I just, you know, kind of yank it, drag it back there. And the funny thing that happens is... As I do that, the fuse doesn't blow anymore. I can have that plug right there connected, everything's hooked up, and the fuse doesn't blow, but I still don't have any fuel injection. Nothing from the Noid light, no signal, nothing from the spark plug wires, no spark, nothing to the coil. So, long story short, I pull the manifold, um, bring it over here, and remember this is the, this here's the big fat one, then there's the next one, then there's this one. So I start following the wires down the line, and I'm thinking, oh man, I'm going to have to take all this apart. It could be one of these little fringe ones at the very end. What if a sensor is shorted? You know, you get a bad sensor and it pops it. So I think I'm going to have to put everything back together, or at least put the harness in it, to see what's shorted. And as I trace along, I'm going along right here, and all of a sudden, bam, right there, there's this big old chafe mark. Um, you can see a little bit of shine on one of the wires, but there's four or five wires right there that are just open. And those are the wires that go back up to um, the EGR valve and some other, not the EGR valve, what is that? This valve right here. 
it has something to do with the PCV system. Uh, but anyway, it goes up to that one. It goes up to the ignition coil, and it also goes to the throttle position sensor. So I've got all those wires that are offline that are blowing the fuel injection fuse and just causing all kinds of grief. Now what's interesting um, on this particular car is that the car only has, it's a 1999, it's 2011 now, it's only got 35,000 miles on it. I thought that was pretty crazy. But the other thing that I thought was crazy is that I look under the hood and not only do we have this atrocious wiring going underneath of here, but we got other wires coming underneath of here. The beauty of the Subaru is that the intake manifold is easy to pull. You've got four bolts on each side, just bam, bam, bam. Four bolts on this side, bam, bam, bam. Your fuel lines, there's three of them. Um, these are a little tricky. If you go to pull the uh, throttle cable, you can see that there's no threads on this portion of the cable right here. And then there's this one. This back nut that's toward the front of the car, don't touch that one. You need that one in place, but you just loosen this one past that little dent and then pull this out first. And after you pull this out, then the cable end is easy to fish out. But anyway, I was going to say the uh, little nut that you see here on the starter. Um, right. This is hard. This is a juggling act right there. It was almost coming off. Um, the wiring was bad. There was a bunch of stuff that was chafed and wrong. And, uh, you know, you look down here, you look at the PCV system, and you've got all this chocolate milk. You know, like it's 120 or 150,000 miles on the motor, but it only says 35,000 on the odometer. I'll show you. 35. What does it say? 35532. So anyway, I don't understand. The interior of the car looks good. You don't get all the rust. You always have rust on the wheel well right here. You know, 99, 98, or whatever, and it doesn't have any. So. I think it's fascinating. It's like tripping me out. I don't know what the heck the history of this car is, but something's funky. So, anyway, that's how you trace a short. You undo wires on a certain group or one at a time. If it's got an aftermarket radio on the car, check that first. Pa check the power antenna wire, the blue wire. So many cars don't have a power antenna, but they've got that powered wire just floating around behind the dash, you know, just waiting to either be a draw or be a short that blows fuses so you just want to take it one at a time you know if you've got something where you can unplug groups of wires like what we had um, with this here and these that's a great way to cover a lot of ground fast so hope the video was helpful to you I'm sorry it's, I wasn't able to show this in the car the way that it was but you know the I'm not the best cinematographer. If somebody want, if somebody is in the Utah Valley area and they want to come and film and edit or whatever for class or whatever, please come. I would love that. So I just seriously don't have a lot of time that I can do that. So I, you know, I want to help people. I want to get the information out there. I do the best I can, but uh, I know that there's better ways of doing things. So if you want to help, I sure appreciate it. In the meantime, cheers. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, have a great day. Love you.